Hey all, welcome to week six assignment video. So this video is actually going to cover both the college and career success class and my SSC 101 16 week class. You both have the same assignment this week. So this video covers both of you. So SSC 101, if you're seeing college and career success in here, that's okay. You're not in the wrong place. It's because again, week six, you have the same assignment. So I'm just covering you both in the same video. So week six is uh, career services exploration. So when we get into week six, can see that you just have one assignment, which is a little misleading because it has a lot going on with that one assignment. But there's no discussion for him this week. So your attendance is based off of completing this one assignment. So let's go ahead and click into the assignment folder. And you're going to see again, here is the assignment. If you would like um, to go along with the video, there is a Word doc right here. You can just open that up. And again, so those of you in um, college and career success. I know it says SSD 101 right there, but it's the same assignment. So it's the same file, same instructions. So we're going to pull it up and here is the sheet that can kind of walk you through all the parts. My video is going to do this, but this, some people like to have, you know, this kind of information right in front of them as well. So that's what this will do. All right. So there are a couple things you're going to do for this, and there's a couple different places you're going to go for this. So if we look at our instructions, it says the first thing we need to do is take a career assessment. So I'm going to go ahead and get into our Stark State homepage. I'm going to go to the very bottom and I'm going to click on career coach. Now, some of you have already seen career coach before my SSC 101 students, you had an assignment associated with this. So when I get to this page, I'm going to go to interests and we're going to take an assessment. I am going to take the six question assessment for the purpose of the video, just to make it go quicker. You are going to take the 60 question assessment. I will know the difference. I'll show you how I know the difference here shortly, but honestly, it is not a very long survey. So I'll show you the kind of questions. So again, I am taking the six question for the purpose of this video. Here is what the questions are. It's very quick. It's a scale of how much you agree or disagree with a certain set of, you know, ideas or ways to express yourself or what you would like to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of fill it out. When I get this, it's going to give me my results. It's going to give me my personality results. Now, the reason again that you're taking the 60 question is because six questions, it, it can be accurate, but not spot on. And so the 60 questions just gives it a chance to really know you a little bit better. But here are my top three personality traits. I'm enterprising, artistic, and social. Underneath there, these are my um, matches for my field. So I'm going to kind of look through here. You can see, you know, education is a high match. You can scroll all the way down and it's going to give you all the way to like a very, very limited match. So hopefully you can see your major somewhere in here represented. And once you find your major, let's say you get something you can click in here, It'll show the details and then it's going to break it down even further um, into the very specific fields. So you click here and it's going to give you even more options inside that area. So when I get here, I can be like, oh yeah, I think I'm going to go into like social work, career details. And then it gives me the very specific information on that particular career path. And so I can click through here and get, you know, some task information, um, education, my skills, how much I can expect to make, my employment projection, not great in this field for this area, but I can also expand it if I wanted to, you know, go outside of this area of North Canton. You can see it looks a little better that way. Um, similar careers and then people who are currently looking for that job. All right, so I encourage you to really look around at your results, get to know them. For the purpose of this assignment, then what you're going to turn in is I'm going to go ahead and like, I'm going to download my results. You're going to come up here and it's going to open a PDF and here's where I'm going to be able to tell what assessment you took. It's going to either say short or long. So that way it tells me, did you take the six question or 60 question? This is going to break down the top overall categories, top 10 career matches, and then those personality traits kind of in order. I'm going to ask you to save them somewhere. So up here in the corner, save them, you know, find some place on your desktop, on your device and hang on to them for a minute because you're not going to submit them yet. It tells you right here, there are two assignments. 
that you're going to submit. That's the first one. Now, the second thing you need to do, according to our instructions here, is go ahead and get into Skills to Succeed Academy, which is what I have up and running. Right, I'm clicking too many things at once, sorry about that. Up and running right here, Skills to Succeed Academy. You're gonna be able to register. I'm gonna go ahead and just log in because I already have an account established. So for right now, you're just gonna get registered. And it kind of walks you through the access code, email, password, and kind of hang out for a minute in there. The third part, and it's going to have you go back to part two, but the third part is to watch this right here. It's a series of little videos and questions. So you'll get here. It's like a, again, a minute 46, and then you're going to answer the question true, false. And then it's still talking about the same video. And then eventually you're going to, here we go, a new video. This one's a little longer, seven minutes, 28 seconds. So you're going to keep going through and answering the questions based on those little videos. And there's going to be one more video as you go through. You can see I'm not answering any questions. You will need to. Here's another video. Now, when it's time, when you've answered all these, you've gone through, you're going to go into the skills to succeed and you're going to scroll down. And you can see here, there are different modules. In your directions, it says you need to pick either option one, choose a career. This is for those students who are maybe CCP or you're undecided or you're at the very beginning of your career path and you're not 100% sure it's what you wanna go into. That's the one you're going to choose. Or getting a job. You already decided this is the field you wanna get into. How are you gonna land your job? So choose one of those two. Choose a career or getting a job. You can see in here, it says six modules, 23 modules. You do not have to do all six or all 23. You are doing one from either choose a career or one from getting a job. So please don't panic when you see that. So you'll click in, you'll like hit view course and it's going to, look, you can, those are your six that you'll choose from. You can kind of look and see which ones do you want to go into? Which ones kind of look interesting to you? Same thing here, there's 23 modules. Look to see which one is going to be most beneficial or helpful to you. When you're done, you're going to have a progress report that's going to show, and it's gonna say, hey, you got one out of six modules done. It's gonna show you which one you did. You're gonna go ahead and download your certificate. It's gonna download as a PDF and you're gonna save that as well. Now that's the second PDF that you're going to upload. So when you come back into your assignment area, in this Dropbox right here, you're going to go ahead and hit upload file, browse your file, and you're going to find that 60 question. Now I'm just gonna click on random documents just to kind of show you. You're gonna click on that 60 question results, and you're also going to click on your skills to succeed. So I highlighted them both. I clicked on one, I hit control, I clicked on the other. I could always just click on one and then do it again. Some of my PTO stuff's in here, so you're seeing that too. Um, but the key is you want to see both of those files right here. You want to see this career interest file, and you want to see your skills to succeed progress file. Because once you hit submit, it will not allow you to submit anymore. So you want to make sure they're both right there. Okay, so you want to submit both of those assignments and you have to watch and answer those questions there. So I know it says one assignment this week, but there's a lot going on. So if you have questions on this, please reach out and let me know. Again, this is both for my College and Career Success and my SSC 101 16 week session course. Um, this counts as your attendance, so make sure you complete it by Sunday. 